Today we're going to be taking a close look at not one, but two new pedals from Cooper FX. Let's go. This video will serve as a quick start guide for the selector and the generator, and a bit of an overview. If you're looking for a full comprehensive demo, check out my friend Mark Johnston. Great guy, great musician. He will take you on a sonic journey. Okay. The Cooper FX Signal Path Selector is a tool that allows you to reconfigure the pedal chain with just the touch of a button change the order of your effects from A to B or to B to A or run your pedals in parallel. You can also introduce feedback uh, to either signal chain which can add some interesting harmonic frequencies or all-out destruction. Ultimately, the outcome depends entirely on the effects you introduce. There's also phase inverter, and there's a master blend for your dry signal. Now our foot switches turn their respective loops on and off. Both foot switches can be used as momentary or latching. A quick press will engage the loop in a latching function but a hold will cause this foot switch to act in a momentary fashion. Now, this isn't a feature to be taken lightly because it allows you a new feature that never existed on an old pedal. And I think that's great. For connectivity, simply connect the send to the input and the return to the output of each pedal. We then likewise have a single input and a single output. And now for the push buttons. The primary use of these push buttons is to select the signal path. We can either go from A to B, or B to A, or parallel. Now, to activate our Alt function, we press and hold the middle button. This lets us add feedback to either chain or increase the master volume. Lastly, to access your presets, you hold both bypass stomp switches until the LEDs flash, indicating that you are in preset mode. Press the routing button to select which preset is active. The number is indicated by the flashing LED. So this will be preset one, this will be two, and this will be three. To save a preset, uh, select your desired preset slot and hold down the bypass foot switch for loop A. To load a preset, select your preset number and hold down the bypass foot switch for loop B. Now there's a whole host of MIDI CCs for you to discover on your own, and they're outlined in the manual.
This next pedal is near and dear to my heart because it is, in fact, a collaboration between the guys at Cooper FX and myself. After about a year and a half in the making, this little box is the expression generator. The inception of it on my part was fairly simple, but the heavy lifting which brought it to fruition was all due to the fantastic team of Dan and Tom over at Cooper FX. So what is it? Well, this seemingly small pedal delivers a massive amount of control over any pedal that has an expression input. In fact, you can control up to four pedals at once. At its heart, it allows you to control the rise and fall time of an expression. The key word being time. You determine how fast or how slow the expression happens. You can have a fast rise and fall on a low pass filter, making the gin law sound something like this. Or an exaggeratedly long modulated sweep sounding something like this. You can even tailor it so the rise has one time and the fall has something entirely different. You can set your starting and end points. There's momentary and latching modes, tap tempo, tap divisions, internal dip switches for additional controls, full range of MIDI CCs, eight onboard preset slots that are expanded to 128 via MIDI. Ultimately, there's a lot you can do with this small box. I think the selector and generator are great for anyone who's had to make creative compromises with what to affect, what not to affect with an expression pedal. Um, what's the appropriate order of these two pedals? Ultimately, it affords us the ability to create and to shift textures and tones in an instant. But more than that, it allows us the opportunity to bring new value to old, older pedals. It may be even rekindle some inspiration, but above all else, it makes it fun. All right, we've reached the end of this demo and I hope you've had as much fun as I have. Let's do it again. <laughs>